Hey guys, happy Saturday. Uh, so I'm gonna sit outside on the benches and I'm gonna quickly go over Saturday's workout, progressions and all that stuff. It's uh, a little easier than the last few days as far as explanation goes. The workout, not so much, but the explanation will be easier. Um, to make things easier, next week we're gonna do some changes. Like I said, I got that thing coming from Amazon. I'll show you the unboxing uh, Monday morning or Sunday night, it'll go up. Um, so you kind of see that and then we'll be able to use what's in there to kind of help with some of the explanations. The other thing is I'm gonna make, instead of making one big 10 to 15 minute video, I'm gonna make a quick two, three minute video introing everything. And then I'm gonna make separate explanation videos for each workout so that you can just click play when you get to whatever portion of the workout you're doing or if you're only doing part of it, you can do that, right? It will be should simplify things so you don't have to watch a 15 minute video and then try to find the part you needed and try and remember everything you did. Um, cool. All right, so Saturdays, for those of you guys who come, you'll know this, but the rest of you guys, they're normally longer workouts. They're also normally partner workouts, but we're not gonna stick with that because you might not have a partner to work out with. Um, but we are gonna do longer, and to try to keep it at least interesting and motivating, we're gonna do uh, a hero wad every Saturday. So you did a hero wad last Saturday. This Saturday, you're gonna do badger, and badger is 30 squat cleans, 30 pull-ups, 800 meter run, three rounds for time. It's not a quick workout. Um, but the explanations are pretty simple. So we'll start with the squat cleans. Uh, if you've got a barbell, use a barbell. Uh, if you've got dumbbells, dumbbell squat cleans all the way through, right? So each of these squat cleans, is full squat cleans. So it starts on the ground, you just clean it up, and you go through a full squat. Kettlebells are a little more challenging. Um, there's something we used to do, uh, it's called kettlebell swing to a goblet squat, you can do that, or you can do a sumo deadlift high pull to a goblet squat, or you can do a, like, 30 sumo deadlift high pulls and 30 goblet squats. Um, I'll try and find links and post those up to each one of those, but those are totally effective. The big thing is you wanna pull something off the ground and squat it, all right? Uh, weight needs to be light. The heaviest weight anybody uses on this when we do this in class is 95 and 63, all right? So Nicole is using 63 pounds. If you don't normally use the same weight as Nicole, you don't wanna be using 63 pounds if you have a barbell. Drop the weight down, right? Something you can do, maybe a set of 15 of if you had to. Um, if you, if you can't drop it that low, or if dropping it that low is to like a barbell and you could do a set of 50 with a barbell, which it will be harder than you think, um, you feel free to cut the number back. Like if all you have is 95, then cut cut the reps down to 15, something like that. Um, dumbbells, you guys all should have properly weighted dumbbells for this, uh, same thing with kettlebells. Um, but make sure whatever you do is super light. Uh, next piece is going to be 30 pull-ups. Some of you guys have pull-up bars, some of you don't, so we'll kind of walk through that. If you've got a legit, full-on pull-up bar you can kip on, do that, kip, right? That's fine. If you've got a pull-up bar, you can only do strict on, so if you've got like a power rack, doorway pull-up bar, something like that, you can do that. Cut the reps to probably 15, or something you can do in four sets, right? If you can do 20 in four sets, great. If you can't, then cut that number back to something that can be done in four sets. Um, if you've got rings, or like a TRX strap, ring rows would be perfectly fine. Use that four set kind of idea when you figure out how hard to make them. So how far do we walk our feet underneath? Well, can I do 30 in four sets? Then I'm in the right spot. If not, I need to make it a little easier. Um, three sets is fine too. Just don't go past four sets. Uh, the, the other piece is if you don't have pull-up bars, or you're gonna kind of look towards rows. So barbell rows, dumbbell rows, kettlebell rows, right? Bent rows, make sure you keep back nice and neutral. Um, stabilize the spine, don't get yourself in a bad position. Those are totally fine ways to do this. Um, if you don't have access to any equipment, sub your pull-ups out for push-ups and you'll kind of get that same basic idea from it. Um, and then the last piece is the run. Um, so if you don't have an 800 meter course marked off and you don't want to get online, do it. Pick something you can run in about six minutes or so. Maybe do a couple two or three minute runs, right? Out and backs, um, that's fine. Uh, if you got a piece of cardio equipment, you wanna use that because you can't run, that's fine. Um, but you're gonna just do something that's about six minutes long. Uh, the other options would be step ups. You can do step ups, you can do jump rope, um, and you can do burpees, right? And the numbers are all in there. But those are all options to do if you can't do any of these things, right? Um, or if you can't run, I should say. So the only reason you really wouldn't run is because you're injured um, or you have a nice piece of like a rower at home or something like that and you wanna use that. But for the rest of us, we can try and run, even if it's a run walk thing, even if you cut your distance back, right? Again, something's done in six minutes. So if you're not running at a 12 minute mile pace normally, cut that back, right? 
Um, all right, so it's a pretty easy one today. Uh, as far as explanation goes, it will not be easy. Earlier you do it, probably easier it'll be because it's gonna be hot out. Um, but yeah, if you got any questions, let me know. We, uh, in addition to kind of the change of videos, we're actually gonna start a little bit of a challenge next week. So stay tuned for details on that. Just something that'll keep you guys involved um, and keep you guys motivated at home. But uh, all right, guys, we'll have a great Saturday um, and I will see you for a quick little active recovery Sunday. Bye.